Protests like this one have been more and more frequent in Kamisli at the Turkish border in northern Syria. Many here have lost family members to the fight against the Islamic State group. Now locals feel betrayed by the US's decision to pull out of Syria, which leaves them at Turkey's mercy. We're here to denounce Erdogan's threats against our territory. Kurds and Arabs live here together, but Erdogan won't leave us alone. These young men have sacrificed their blood for the sake of protecting these people and the entire world. Therefore, I say to all democracies and to all human rights activists that they must stand up to Erdogan. This is not the duty of the Kurds alone. It is a duty of the entire world. At the front line of the fight against the Islamic State group, the Syrian Democratic Forces, a force largely dominated by Kurds within the YPG, a rebel group which Turkey views as an extension of the outlawed PKK, considered a terrorist organization. Recep Tayyip Erdogan has openly threatened them. Those who are part of the terror corridor in Syria will receive the necessary lesson. There is no single difference between the PKK, YPG and the Islamic State group. As the Turkish offensive looms, Syrian Kurds have asked Damascus and Moscow for protection, warning the US withdrawal could allow the Islamic State group to regain strength. It will change the power balance. Turkey will carry out their offensive, and operations against the Islamic State group will cease, as will the construction of a democratic system allowing for expansion of terrorism again. U.S. President Donald Trump is threatening to, quote, devastate Turkey economically if they hit Kurds, with Ankara replying that it won't be intimidated. The future is uncertain for Syria's Kurds, who have been left disappointed by their cooperation with the international coalition. Many dreamed of establishing an autonomous Kurdish state in the north of the country, with a democratic federation of northern Syria established in one region in 2016. The project being negotiated with Damascus, which for now is playing hot and cold. Turkey, meanwhile, is observing the negotiations with fear that they will bolster its own Kurds' ambitions. <laughs>